In the last video about the inspiration stage, I talked about your originality and believing that you're capable of that. I said inspiration is something that cannot be taught and that you have to experience it in your own inner heart. We finished with the thought that we have to be open and willing to explore. And I listed a bunch of ways you can feed your internal imagination. Did you think of some ways of your own? Let's talk about your motivation. Of course, we all want and need to generate a living and be valued by others. But it makes a difference to your life and everyone you relate to, whether or not you are doing what you love for reasons beyond recognition and money-making. As you listen to your heart, appreciate that you are a member of the human race, the world, the universe. Who each of us is affects everything else. And this is a huge opportunity to make our contributions to the progress of everything. We often call this relationship with the universe love. Your inspiration can go far beyond your personal needs and make a neighborhood better, organize people for good, heal people, entertain and encourage people, inspire others to make their contribution. When you get inspiration like that, you tap into unlimited power to express, make, and do wonders. So inspiration involves practices that you have to take time to do. There is resistance to this from people who think you're wasting time or maybe resistance from your own impatience to just get something done, anything. But remind yourself, if you don't put time and energy into receiving the deep inspiration, you won't discover your best work. The longer you put it off, the more cares of life and distractions will take its place, making you Forget about important work from your true self. This is why I recommend a daily discipline of receiving inspiration. For me, it is my spiritual discipline every morning. That routine is the start of my work. Before doing any concrete tasks, first I wait, contemplating what is in my inner person or my heart. This is often called meditation or prayer and starts by listening with the ear of your heart. My way is what I call communing with God in an inner conversation. You experience your own inner dialogue in your personal languages and images, but you must find your way that frees your thoughts and reawakens your believing. As I sit there, I eventually begin to take notes and sketch in my journal. This is helpful to refer back to from day to day, month to month, year to year. As you review your journals, you sometimes find a thought progression that is like a long-term inspiration and might guide toward a concrete project. A visual artist might journal in a sketchbook. A musician might write music notes or record some improvisation. A dancer often moves as a meditation. You must discover what you do, but it all comes from the heart deep inside. These outward expressions of the inner impulse can give rise to concrete projects, but at this point, you do not require that of them. Just collect reminders of them. This is your impulse. 
and it's subject to your choices. You never have to feel like you have to obey or be forced to do anything. You're not a puppet. It's based in love for yourself and for those who will benefit from your creation. For me, this is a collaboration with God animating my imagination, my intellect, my emotions, and my skills to move humanity along in our development. In the next video, I'll talk about taking care of that infant idea growing inside you and the transition from inspiration to execution.